You get the loves today. Oh, jeez. Hey, buddy. I'm gonna go work on the car, and you can stay here and kick it in the room. Okay, I see you later. Bye. Bye. What is going on, internet family? And today, we are gonna do some poorly done science. And what the hell is heat soak? What the hell is heat soak? Chewy sucks with heat soak, and he's got a Grim Speed top mount. So what we're gonna do, so we're gonna test things out, see how hot I can get it, and then we're gonna install these little Johnnies <laughs> right here from TrackSpec. And we're gonna see if vents do anything, which we know they already do, but we're gonna see how much they actually do. So a little bit of science. We're gonna think out the best way to do this. Right now outside looks like crap, so nothing new there. But uh, we're gonna try and keep ambient temps the same, gonna try and run the car for the same amount of time, and try and keep this as close to kind of before and after as we can. So, from that, let's get going on it. I thought you had to change your oil. Oh yeah. But before we can do that, I gotta change my oil. And uh, I'll probably film taking this thing off too, which you can't see me pointing at, because Tanner's moving in and out yeah. of my face. Yeah, this is heavy, take this back. It is heavy, isn't it? Heavy. This is so heavy to shoot with, it hurts my arm to lift up. Mm -hmm. I need to like actually work out to do this. We're gonna use a fun little Tokyo Roki filter. I'm gonna use my tried and trusted 8100XS 5W40 from Motul. Oh yeah, it is. No, it's just hard to find. <laughs> these are fun. These are uh, these are made by Professional Awesome. So they're quick disconnect on the back. They have fun little collets. Uh, I've got them running in the front, and I have one back here that I'll never be able to reach once I have all this stuff back in. I'll have to figure out something with that. I can probably reach around the back, but then there's a quick release plate right here that I've got on the frame. Um, so I'll do the other side of these and then I'll show you how easy, as you can't see me spider crawling across the floor, how easy this thing actually is to take off. So undo that, reach in here. You can't see it, but there's another one of these I'm pulling out from back there. Now that is free. And then on these guys, here's a little lock. Jesus. And I can pull, move that. So the other side, right back here, which you might be able to, no. Might be able to see this better. Just like that. I can move all these guys. And those uh those quick release mounts from Professional Awesome are rated up to 800 pounds, which is pretty sweet. And then that just pulls on out of there. Boom, baby! Boom! Bumpers on, splitters on. Uh, I wound up, wherever it went, I wound up taking off my Rally Tech Undershield. Um, because in the future, I'm probably going to make a belly pan and everything for the back, so there's no point in that being there. The standard APR is a little thin, uh, so it's got some flex to it and things like that. So certain parts I can improve on, I've already had L bracing and things like that. 
uh, to improve it as is, but I will be adding more in the future as well as um, a front air dam. I'm gonna start the car up. Uh, let me see if I can zoom that out. And we're gonna get a baseline for things. So we're gonna leave this thing running and Bro, that's ridiculous right I know. There. Yeah, it gets that's, hot. Mine was running and it wasn't any higher than 75. And the, and the car's been off. Yeah, your car has been off for like an hour and a half. Mine was just running for like 15 minutes and my IATs were 75 degrees. With yeah. it running with the hood closed. But yeah, already 82 on intake temp. We've got an outside temp reading of one, or of 68. You almost said 16. 168. Say it's hot out yeah. here. Fuck man, I'm dying. There it goes, going up. Yeah, so this is just gonna continue. So what I wanna see is how much over ambient it is without any hood vents in there. We're gonna see what this intake temp is once we're up to operating temp and it has been 15 minutes of the car running. Then we're gonna cut holes in the hood and do it all over again. All right, so we've now had it idling at operating temp for about 15 minutes. And I'm at 144 degrees intake temp. That's crazy. So I'm gonna shut it down and then we're gonna cut up the hood a little bit. Let it cool down and do this test again. As far as like the ventilation and everything, I think that's going to be the best spot for it because it'll give some turbo. It's going to let everything from the front kind of escape out the back. Kind of like opening a door on an oven. So I just need to figure out how far away that is so I can duplicate that on both sides. Put a 22, put this right there. On the other side. Okay, it's gonna work. I'm gonna just remove these little sections so I can sharpie in and start making some cuts. They give you two of these little templates, um, but they're the exact same, they're just mirrored, which since it's a piece of paper, is literally just it flipped over. So I just took the same one because I already marked exactly where I wanted this to go. Um, lining with this outer line that's in the hood here line everything up there's a little hole here that they have on both these templates for a rivet um so i just put this at 10 inches down from there on each side lined it up with that rivet hole so put them at the exact same spot and since i already took the time to cut these little guys out i just flipped this one so it'd be on the other side so now i just got to cut this in a perfect square ish and then drill some rivets and get that bad boy in there and then we're gonna see if my intake temps are still 144 degrees and if they are we're just gonna throw this car away Both side vents are cut and installed. They look pretty sweet, so that's kind of a plus. I've had it running for about uh, 15, 20 minutes or so. You see, yeah, 15 minutes on the dot. 
and we're creeping up but we're not nearly not nearly up to where we were before so 110 this is just sitting for 15 minutes it was already up to operating temp if i got moving that would be kind of what what would be interesting because normally if i'm in heavy traffic it's a little hard to get that to come down so that's kind of what i want to see next is how much or i guess how low i'm able to get my eye at so if i'm actually up to speed so far it seems like it's doing something i also i don't have everything wrapped underneath there the intake pipes aren't uh, aren't wrapped in anything the intercooler is on the in tanks but that's about it so I may take this thing for a spin and kind of report back on what I'm seeing as far as IATs after doing this. But yeah, it looks, looks a little more aggressive aesthetically speaking. And it obviously does, does something. <laughs> Here's my cat. I put it under my hat. Uh, 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 uh. Lick my booty hole. It's clean. I washed it with uh, Mr. Clean. 